Hi friends, good evening. Welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So I am Manju here and I want to show you Informatica tool interfaces in this video. And uh, we are going to do one transformation logic here. So that is expression transformation logic by extracting uh, one database table into the Informatica. So video will be more informative and uh, very interesting. So if you are not subscribed to SQL Master, so kindly subscribe to SQL Master YouTube channel. So that will be very helpful for you people also and uh, that's a really great motivational thing for me to make more videos on this regard. So uh, I show you here. So this is what the Oracle SQL okay, developer and uh, here it is already integrated with uh, Oracle 11G database. So this is what the table called as employees. Okay, so this is these are the records. So you just right click on here and uh, click on count rows. So the table has 107 rows. So uh, I want to extract this table in Informatica. Okay, and I want to apply expression transformation logic here. So I will show you in this video. Okay, so that's what that's what the thing. Uh, it's really a very interesting video. So kindly watch complete video so you will be understanding the how to use how to work in Informatica as a ETL tester what to do in Informatica tool okay so this is what the thing here so let us move to the Google Chrome browser so this is what the Informatica browser it's uh, connected to the it's integrated to the local host of my laptop or computer so I am using uh, giving here the username and password to log in here so just a minute and password is also administrator so password is also administrator and click login button so one very important thing that if you already installed uh, this local host uh, informatica on your laptops so if you open the browser and try to log in this administrator console so if it's not logging in okay so why it's log not logging in means uh, you have to enable this service okay click on my computer right click on this and go to manage okay in manage uh, you have to go for uh, services tool okay so here you have to go under services and open services and here you can check for informatica service that is so this one it's now it is running okay so if this service is stopped then you will unable to log in here in administrator console so why it is necessary to start informatica service because i will show you here so then the administrator console is logged in successfully and then we move to the the client tools called uh, repository manager and uh, workflow manager workflow designer and workflow monitor so just go to start and click on all, all apps and go to this uh, what you call informatica so here this is already i logged in and go to the power center repository manager just click on this and that will get open so uh, because of that uh, it's very necessary to start the informatica services so here the informatica power center repository manager so what exactly the repository manager here so to uh, store all the project related data project folders and project related data whatever you extracted tables files okay all the transformation logics you applied okay all the uh, output you just sent to the data warehouse all the data will get connected here okay stored here so this is what the rip it is repository just right click here and click on connect so it will ask for credentials give the credential here it is administrator only and click on connect so now it's connected so already here i made one folder named training okay so then here this is what repository window okay informatica power center repository manager window and here this is what designer window so if you click here that will get open so this is what called as power center designer window so here you will get these options okay source analyzer target designer and transformation developer maplet designer and mapping designer so i want to fetch 
that's what already I shown you the table employees to here in Informatica. So I can click here on source analyzer. So it is already present here. Okay, so I just delete this. Delete from the folder. Okay, now you just press Ctrl S, then go to sources and import from database. If it is a file, flat file, you just click on import from file. I am showing showing you here database. So click on this one and the username is HR, owner name is HR. I have to give password. My password is HR here. So whatever your corresponding password you have to give here. So click on connect. So it's connected and the here the table is present here. So you can see here this is what I want to extract. So click on OK. So the table is extracted to Informatica. So this is what the thing and also I have to extract the target table. So this is nothing but the validation. So okay, what exactly the ETL tester do this one. So because I extracted source table and now I am going to extract the target table also. I just first I delete this folder okay from folder and press control enter then I go to targets and import from database. So click here and give the password here for of your database and click on connect. So the schema is appeared here and from this you just select the table target table. So this is what the target table. Okay. So now what you have to do? So go for mapping design. Okay. So here I have to create mapping. So here I have to create mapping. So go to mapping and create new mapping. So he here I have to give name for mapping that is I am giving here demo and click OK. So the mapping is created and now I have to drag and drop the source table here. So this is what the source table. Okay. Okay. So you just drag it as per your convenience. So this is what the thing. I just drag here this one. Okay. These are what called as connections. Okay. Arrow marks from this table to this table. These are connected. Okay. This is source table and this is called as source qualifier. It is automatically generated when you drop drag and drop the source uh, data table the source qualifier is automatically generated here because uh, in source data okay the data types must be uh, having variations okay so the data types okay so that source data will be going to convert in informatica native data types so this is automatically going to generate here so source qualifier so then what else remaining here I have to take the target table also see here just I take this target table so this is what the thing here so I just drag and drop here target table here in this space I am going to implement uh, expression transformation so here I have to use uh, the expression transformation okay so uh, this is what the expression transformation here just you click on this and just drag and just stop here okay so this is what the expression transformation which is now it is blank so now you just select here all and just drag and drop here okay so all these uh, table data data types entities are connected from source qualifier to this one expression transformations logic table so then so if you just go to the properties here okay so before that you just select and select all so this is what you just connect to here so all the uh, entities from this uh, expression transformations are now connected here so and double click here okay so then you go to properties here so this is what the salary so I want to add one new port here okay so because uh, I want to fetch the employees so uh, whoever having salary more than 5000 rupees so i want to add hike the salary of 10 percent so i want only those records whoever having more than 5000 rupees which is hiked by 10 percent salary i want in output target so that's why i am going to add this so new port just click here and so just you rename this okay so as 
uh, O underscore that is output INCR increment underscore cell. Okay, then the decimal types must be same. This is decimal and this should must be in decimal only. So then you change after decimal point, you just change it to point two. Okay, then the salary this one is input, so remove this output port and the O in underscore increment underscore salary. This is output, so remove this input. Then only you will get expression logic enabled here. So if it is input checked, then this you this expression logic uh, area is disabled. So just remove this. Okay. So then it is enabled. So then you have to click here on this arrow mark. So then here you get all the predefined functions which is used in Informatica. So just expand this, and I am going to use here if condition. Okay. So just see here. So double click on this. I double F that is if go to ports and click on salary. So if salary is greater than five thousand rupees, comma, then salary again have to double click on this salary plus within parenthesis again double click on salary into point zero one that is ten percent hike. Okay, so this is what condition I want to put here. So now after this, you mentioned condition here. You must have to validate that. Click on validate. It's giving some error, I think. Just a second. Salary is greater than five thousand, comma salary plus of salary into point one. You have to close two parentheses here. So because I opened here two parentheses, I must have to close two parentheses. Then then you have to click on validate. So click validate validation successfully. Then go click on OK. Then apply. Then OK. Okay. So then, so here you can see here. So you must have to connect this to this one salary. Just drag and drop it here. So it is now connected to salary port. So now press Control S. So you have to save this. Okay. So it is now saved. so this is what logic i want to implement here by using expression transformation i want to fetch the employee's salary whoever employee's salary is more than 5000 rupees so i want to hike those salaries those people salaries uh, up to 10% so i want only those records in target table so this is what my logic expression here so then afterwards you just go to workflow manager here okay to run that workflow so you can see here this is workflow manager window it's getting open so then you have to i just remove this previously previously it is uh, used so okay just go to workflow and delete okay so then press control s then go to workflow and create so i create here demo demo w so click on okay then go to session just put here so this is what demo just click on okay and you just go to linker option and from here to here you just drag it so it is now connected workflow is connected to session okay then what you have to do is you just right click on here and just click on press control s to save this so then right click on here and just uh click on start workflow so it's now executing and uh, workflow monitor window you'll get open here okay so this is what the process is running now okay so you can see here uh, the output is succeeded so like this you have to do so this is what the thing here friends uh, how to use the informatica tool efficiently okay so you must have to understand this tool uh, properly okay i used here expression transformation one example so like this too many so many expressions so, so many uh, transformation logics will come here so for that purpose uh, you must be go on practicing install uh, in your uh, laptop or computer so you go on practicing the transformation rules uh, applying logics so you will be getting perfect so i hope friends you understood this uh, video concept here so i will be with you uh, about uh, more informatica concepts with etl2 uh, in practical videos okay so i think i will be with you in my next video with some more uh, interesting videos 
सो टिल दैट बाय बाय फ्रेंड्स हैव ए नाइस डे थैंक यू